we've all seen clouds build up on one side of the mountain and then on the other side just dissipate into blue sky. Maybe you want to know why that happens. Like most natural events, this one has an impressive scientific term attached to it. It's called adiabatic cooling and heating and it occurs because of changes in air pressure. Here's some time-lapse video that shows what happens. Basically, as a parcel of air encounters a mountain, it is forced upward. As air pressure decreases with altitude, the air parcel expands. Expansion causes air to cool. When the air cools to its so-called dew point, the water vapor in the air condenses and becomes visible as a cloud. If there's enough moisture and the adiabatic cooling is strong enough, it rains or snows. Essentially, the opposite occurs on the other side of the mountain. The cool air sinks and compresses. Compression results in increased temperature. When temperature rises above the dew point, the cloud dissipates into invisible water vapor. In Wyoming, especially in winter, most of the moisture-laden air masses come from the Pacific, approaching our mountains from the west. So as adiabatic cooling occurs, more rain and snow is dumped on west-facing slopes. As warmer, drier air descends on the eastern slopes, it accounts for another famous phenomenon of the plains, the so-called Chinook winds. So we've looked at clouds from both sides now. Knowing why they form and disappear does not diminish their beauty. If it weren't for our mountains and the dynamic processes that occur, Wyoming would be a much drier place and frankly, much less interesting. I'm Tom Hill from the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service, exploring the nature of Wyoming.